Bill Schoenbach, Esther Stead Bray, looks at his day fans, pushes, and it's... Oh, great, great! Kevin Esther has now scored 2,000 points in a three-year career. Estes became the first player to hit the 2,000-point mark in an Aggie uniform. It's about the greatest feeling I've ever had, I think. Not just breaking the record, but just to know that all the team is behind me. It's just about the greatest feeling I've ever had. Wayne wouldn't score any more points after that night. On that night, Wayne stopped here at 400 North and 700 East, where two cars had run into a telephone pole just like this one. And looking to help them, Wayne came over but didn't notice a downed power line ran into it and immediately grabbed it with his hand, which electrocuted him. Wayne's friend was knocked into the street when Estes grabbed the line. We got back up and when we got to Wayne, he was, he was gone. The legacy Wayne left at Utah State is different from any other player. Kids flocked around him and he never turned anybody away. He was just down to earth. Utah State built the Wayne Estes Center in 2014 as a memorial for his accomplishments. It showcases pictures, awards, the radio call of his final shot, and a picture of the crash that cost him his life for the fans and players who follow him. The legacy that he left in this university and considered by many the, the greatest player of all time and he played so long ago, that just, that just tells you how, how good he must have been and not only on the court, but he must have been a terrific person off the floor. Adam Larson, ATV News.